Tired of nudging clips around like you're playing digital shuffleboard, dragging and dropping, hoping things kind of line up. Buckle up. We're talking three and four point edits in DaVinci Resolve. It's fast paced and precise. So let's set up a scenario. Scenario one, in your source viewer, hit I for endpoint and O for out point. That set the duration you want. Jump to your timeline, park your playhead where you want the clip to start. Hit I for the timeline endpoint. Now the magic. Hit F9 for insert or F10 for overwrite. Bam, Resolve calculates the timeline out point based on your source duration and sticks it right in there. So in scenario two, we're gonna define the landing zone on the timeline. Up in the source viewer, we're gonna mark I for endpoint where you want the clip to start. Jumping down to the timeline, we're gonna mark I for endpoint and O for out, defining the space we need to fill on the timeline. Now hitting either F9 for insert or F10 for overwrite, and there you have it. Resolve grabs the footage from the source viewer at the endpoint until it fills the duration set on the timeline, and that's how you create a three-point edit. Now for four-point edits. This is where you can get really specific. Take this exact chunk of source and put it in this exact spot on the timeline. Now you might be asking, but what if the source is five seconds long and your timeline space is only four seconds long? This is where the magic of fit to fill rides in like cavalry. It forces the source duration to match the timeline duration by changing the clip speed. Need to replace an exact shot perfectly or hit a super specific music cue down to the frame? Four point with fit to fill is your weapon. Use it wisely, messing with speed can make things look weird if it's overdone. With this information, stop dragging and start creating in and out points. This is a muscle memory most would benefit from gaining. So there it is, three and four point edits in DaVinci Resolve. If you wanna see more short videos like this one, hit that like button.